everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book the Club. Book. <laughs> Are you making fun of me right now? No, I would never. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I have Jolie with me for a very exciting Wattpad Book Club reading because I get to read about my husband again, <laughs> and it's wonderful. <laughs> I feel like I'm seen. I feel like I'm heard. I feel valid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Jolene, are you excited at least? I'm, I'm content. Great. <laughs> that works for me. What would, what would you feel better if we read? Would you be, would you feel better if the wheel landed on like the Lox reader or our boy Dofi? What would make you happy? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, it was an Okay, okay. I will, I will try breaking the wheel, but there's no guarantee that will happen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we the wheel was spun, and I I almost shit myself <laughs> when I saw it was the box thing. I I didn't even remember that there was chapters left for left for us to read of this book, but this might be a short one. We have three chapters to read before the, the book is just, like, incomplete right now. It's getting updated. Mm. But I'm excited. I what did, what did we remember from last time we read? We had to break up with Vox, because uh, Vox broke up with us, and then the radio demon almost killed us, even though he did everything that Alistair told him to. Oh, wait, they got, a, they got into a fight at the party. That happened, <laughs> and now we woke up from a coma, <laughs> and that's all I remember. Us in our comas. This is our second coma in the Wapak. Wait, don't wait. Is this our second or third coma? Third. <laughs> we had one with Law. We had somewhat of another one with Law because our our brain was like just went to like a little bit of a sleep mode when we were sunburnt to death and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, now we have another fucking coma. Why why is that the trademark? Why is that the trademark of all the lost stuff right now? We always have to be fucking injured and have like some kind of patient doctor relationship. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, this fucking Stardew Valley? We're like getting up with Harvey with the dull doctor patient thing. <laughs> I Maybe that's just you. Uh, Maybe you just want free healthcare. Maybe I do. No, it's not even free. Side rant: when you when you when you get injured in Stardew Valley and your husband is Doctor Harvey, he still charges you. <laughs> so it's Wait, not even free. No, you, I thought it would. That wasn't the case. Because no. when you were doing your Smasher Pass, you were just like, "Ooh, free healthcare, my yeah. my man." And it turns out he would never. Yeah. All kinds of fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we move on to this husband. He's got a square head. <laughs> anyway, this is wow. called... <laughs> yeah, I move on fast. I gotta catch up, Jolene. <laughs> Alright, uh, second first day. I have a coin. Would you want to be heads or tails? Uh, tails. Alright. Eh. It's heads! Woo! As in, I'm getting ha- never mind. Alright, just second <gasps> first chapter. <laughs> jail! No, you can't put me in horny jail. I just got out. You can't put me I'm back in. I'm reporting you to the- I'm, I'm calling the police. <laughs> I'm calling the warden. No! I literally just got out. I said smash to someone. He's like, yep, you're done. Go sit in the jail cell. I was like, not again! <laughs> Alright, four weeks later. I said- I stand and stare at the reflection in the mirror. A few light patches cover my arms and legs, as well as a bit on my torso. The scars were pretty bad before. They were so bad that I could barely look at them. So, they were mostly bandaged or covered. But now, since they have healed almost mostly and the blisters and bright white color has faded, I can now look at them without getting upset or feeling a bit sick. Every time I looked at myself, it was a reminder of betrayal. I didn't know if Alistair tried to... I didn't know if Alistair tried to hurt me this bad. Maybe he was just warning Vox. But if if he doesn't believe any of that, I have to to admit whenever I think of Alistair, I feel my blood boil. Vox and I became a lot closer during that time I spent in bed rest. He came and visited me after work, before work, during lunch, every single day. 
He was amazing company. I forgave him for breaking my heart before the show. I, s I understood he was trying to protect me, but a part of me was still hurt. I pushed that part of me deep down and reminded myself that it was just for my safety, and it made me feel better. <laughs> God, it made us pissed off. I remember I remember that conversation of us yelling at him. <laughs> Being like, what do you mean it's for my best interest? <laughs> Fox hadn't made any moves on me since the accident. Sometimes when we're together, I feel almost like there are moments where we could have hold, held hands or even kissed. But he did nothing, and I was okay with that. I need to focus on my recovery, not my love life. While staying in the hospital, Fox decided that it would be a good idea to add an extension to the building for my company. So I sold my headquarters and moved my company to the- Wow. Why? Can we have anything? <laughs> nope, we sure can't. Yeah, it's just like a little shed next to the, the tower that just says Your Mom Incorporated. <laughs> so I sold my headquarters and moved my company into this building. And today was my first day back working full time. I look down in my uniform, sitting on my dresser. Finally putting this back on just feels so right. I don't like being cooped up in a gross hospital room for weeks and being babied by nurse nurses at Vox. Oh, I, I don't mind being like babied by, by Vox. That, that doesn't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, for the audience, I have a Vox plushie right next to me that I'm holding. I, you guys can't see it, but just know he's here. He's in my death grip right now. <laughs> I don't mind the company. Fine. Yes. <laughs> I'm concerned. No, don't be concerned, Jolene. It's fine. I can get you on if you want. No. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't mind the company. Just sitting and talking about our days, watching movies and eating together was really nice. But I'm glad to be up on my feet again. I had a meeting scheduled first thing in the morning with the V's, discussing what to say to the press, stuff about Vox's news channel, what to do to announce my return. I looked around my room. Dusty boxes with Gwen's room written on them filled the space. I haven't had any time to unpack since I've been in the hospital. I really should start unpacking today. I finished buttoning my shirt when I heard a knock at the door. Come in! I jumped up and down, balancing on my right foot, trying to put my heel on. The door gently opens and a tall man stands at the doorway. I mean, it's pretty tall. He's like seven feet. That's pretty tall, man. Oh my god! <laughs> You're not an elf. You can't put me in horny jail. <laughs> I'm reporting you. The fuck you. <laughs> hey, Gwen. Uh, Vox says, walking into my room and shutting the door. The sleeves of my shirt, my shirt were short, exposing my scars on my arms. I watch as his eyes travel on my arms, seeing the light-colored spotches that cover them. Watching his eyes slowly trail back up to mine. He was trying not to stare, but it's hard to not look. How are you feeling? Are you in any pain? He says in a serious tone. He generally cared, and it made me made my heart flutter a bit. I mean, like, mine too, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I, feel, I feel fine, I smile, picking up my tie and putting it around my neck. I never had to wear a tie before. I think Vox added it to the uniform when I was recovering. I have no idea how to tie this shit. <laughs> Yo, Sam, anytime I do a cosplay that requires a tie, I'm like, Cameron, can you come in here and tie my tie? <laughs> and he's, he, he still takes the time to show me, and I'm like, thanks. I won't remember this, and you're gonna do it again. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> That's kind of sweet. Yeah. I struggle to tie this goddamn thing around my neck until I feel hands wrapped around my waist, spinning me around. Dude, just get like, you know what I figured out too? They have like clip on like bow ties and ties uh -huh. and shit. Just do that. They also have zipper ties. Ooh. Also, like, he's gonna put her tie on for us? Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Here. He, he unties the knot I made and and carefully makes a new, cleaner, and looser one so effortlessly. I look at- wait, I looked at his concentrated face in awe, the butterflies in my stomach fluttering around, all the feelings I felt for Vox coming flooding back to me. While I was in the hospital, I really did try to push them down and focus on getting better, but there's no use. I really, really, really like him, and I guess now I am all healed. Is it a time for a crush on Vox? <laughs> He pulls away from me, spinning me back to the mirror, showing off the work on the tie. I don't know how he does- how he does tie this shit. 
I mean, he, he constantly wears a fucking bow tie. I think those are gonna be more difficult to tie than a tie. How many times am I gonna say the word tie? <laughs> if you're not ready to come back, or if you need more time. Fox, I'm fine. I cut him off, reassuring him that I was feeling great. The one thing about Vox that really pisses me off is how he treats me like I'm some kind of vulnerable victim. Yes, I got hurt really badly. And yes, Alistair is still out of there. No, sh I mean, he's just a guy. He, Alistair's just a silly little guy. You can't, you can't yeah, beat up a silly guy. He's, he's, he's silly. Yeah, he's just a silly guy. You can't be mad at a silly guy. <laughs> but I'm not a child. I can handle myself. I get that I would, yeah, he was worried about me, but I'm fine. I'm just fine. Okay, star actress. Time skip. Cool. <clears throat> After the meeting, I find myself sitting in the bar. I've never been to the bar here at the V's headquarters. Would they have a bar? <laughs> awesome! I can drink at work? <laughs> and so, I've, so I figure now that I'm living here, I might as well check it out. I order my usual drink of choice and sit down, taking the silence of the private lounge. The meeting today went well. We discussed ways for me to make my first appearance back in hell. And decided to host a dinner party with the overlords. Oh, we're gonna are we gonna invite Alistair too? <laughs> oh, at this point, I still wasn't sure if Alistair would be invited. I'm still extremely hurt by what happened, but if he did, I wouldn't mind. Literally. I didn't know if I'd ever just get over it. <laughs> Can you imagine if you get your ass beat and you hold a dinner party welcoming yourself back and the motherfucker shows up again? <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, I heard what happened! That's crazy, Gwen! <laughs> and we're like, uh-huh, yeah, dickhead. <laughs> I sighed, taking the last sip of my drink and ordering another. I looked down at the navy blue fabric tie around my neck and loosened it more to comfort. I also undid two buns around my neck. Damn. Okay. <laughs> two whole buns? Yeah, two Hardly. whole buns. <laughs> I don't know why. You saying the word harlot was really fucking funny in your way. <laughs> Cause you don't look like the type to ever say that shit. I- my favorite word is harlot. Really? It is, I you, assure you. You need to use it more often. <laughs> Thank you. I- I will. Yeah. <laughs> but I normally just- I never get the opportunity. You- you literally could say this anytime I'm being down bad. You just, <laughs> That's different. What do you mean that's different? This, this one, it, you're literally describing how you're undressing. Yeah. So, harlot. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. I had only been <laughs> to, to one meeting and done a bit of paperwork, but I'm already exhausted. I can never admit that, though. I can't believe such little workload almost took all day to complete. I would have flown through this week ago. Oh, flown through this a week ago, but I guess getting back to things is hard. You look so tired, a voice chuckled from behind me. I swiftly whipped my head around to see the side of Vox. <laughs> I'm fine. First days always suck. I ran my fingers through my hair, laughing to myself. Oh shit, we have hair? We're not like bald? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, my, my drink is then slid towards me. Vox orders a beer. Oh, he, uh, okay. And, s and we sit in silence for a little bit. I'm getting deja vu. Please tell me this ends with us all, like, in this chapter, getting drunk as shit and then sleeping. <laughs> it just <laughs> happens again. Uh. I'm really glad you're okay, he utters. I smile softly. The way that he cared for me since I was hurt made me feel really special. I appreciate everything he's done for me. Thank you for being there for me while I was recovering. It meant a lot to me. I reply, staring at all the booze on the shelf in front of me. Of course. You mean a lot to me, Gwen. He smiles, and I do the same. God, I must look like an idiot with the, this big grin on my face. Can you help me unpack? <laughs> me, too, me too, Gwen. I would also ask, like, a, a powerful overlord like Vox to help me unpack my shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm moving- I'm moving houses. Can you actually help me move? <laughs> just, like, can you just bring the U-Haul around the corner? <laughs> the U-Haul? Y'all are moving a bit fast. <laughs> That can go on the shelf, I tell Vox, and point it to where he could put the bottle of perfume. We were on the last box. With the two of us together, it only took a, an hour to put everything away. The sun had set, and I fe can feel myself getting tired quickly. Can we take a break? I ask, sitting down on my bed and resting my head against the headboard. 
I patted a spot on the bed besides me where I- on, on, wait. I pat a spot on the bed beside me where I was sitting. My mind began to get foggy as Vox sat down next to me. At this point, I could barely keep my eyes open. My whole body felt heavy. I forced my eyes open to look at the clock Vox had placed above the door. 10.45? Fuck it. Still early. <laughs> Without thinking, I closed my eyes and leaned my head against Vox's shoulder. Relaxed my body while he tensed up. I felt him relax after a minute and intertwine his fingers with mine. I smile as I feel myself drift in and out of slumber. He shifts his body before he quickly kisses me on the forehead gently. Good night, Gwen. Oh my god, so, so fucking quiet! I'm kiss on the forehead! Ah! <laughs> I'm glad we, me and you had the same reaction of like, the, oh my god, the fucking. <laughs> Alright, eight, hey, deja vu. Deja vu. I just been in the space before. <laughs> we have such fucking brain rot, man. Hmm. I s I'm gonna correct myself. I have a lot of brain rot. <laughs> uh, you you do you do. Your phone ringing? Uh, no. Wow. Oh, it's but... just fucking Snapchat. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm sorry. You're using the. I see what you're doing. You're doing the ringing for me. Oh yeah, yeah. That was yeah. I was I was trying to be accurate. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, that wasn't my phone. You. It was actually my mouth making that. <laughs> I'm just oh a my god, you're so talented! Yeah, I'm a voice actor. <laughs> I'm jolted awake by the sudden ear-piercing ringing of my alarm. I don't immediately get up, though, because I notice a warm body next to mine. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <Fuck. laughs> can I fall asleep when we were taking a break last night? My body shifts so I can get a better view of Vox. Me too. <laughs> I, I just read something what? in the corner of my eye. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Gosh. My body shifts so I can get a better view of Box. This time he looks peaceful while he sleeps. He looks so cute. I feel my cheeks get hot and, smi and a smile spreads a bleh, across my flesh face. I take a second to embrace this moment. Yes, I admit. I really like Box. Same. <laughs> feeling him hold me like this makes my heart flutter. <laughs> the fuck <shut> up. <laughs> you and we know, we know you love him. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, <laughs> I don't know why. No laughing. <sighs> Suddenly, his body shuffles, and he begins to sit up, reaching over me to turn off the alarm. I feel frozen. Is he gonna yell at me again, or is he? When you up? He whispers. His voice low and tired. He talked like this was a regular morning. The last time I fell asleep with him was the first. The first thing he did was yelled. This is not the reaction I thought I was going to going to get. I turn over to my back and stare at the white popcorn ceiling. Mm hmm. I walk the sleep out of my eyes and slowly sit up beside him, pretending I've just woken up. It's awkwardly quiet for a bit. Should I apologize? Should I wait for him to most likely yell at me? Wait, I should definitely apologize before he has the chance to break my heart like before. Fox, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have fallen asleep. I say, looking down at my fidgeting hands. His words cannot come out of my mouth. I can't help but wonder why he didn't wake me up or why he didn't leave. Hey, don't apologize. He touched my face with his warm hand. And to be honest, I, to be honest, I really didn't mind the company. The company, I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help but smile at this <laughs> awkward moment. He takes his hands off my face and spears his throat. We should probably get ready for work. Right. I remove myself from the covers and realize I'm still in my work clothes from yesterday. I look at Vox as he makes my bed for me. His face is so concentrated on such an easy task. He carefully smooths the wrinkles in the blankets and places the pillows so gently with such care. Watching him take so much time to make my bed made my heart race. I was obsessed with his every movement. I wanted him to hold me. I craved his lips on mine. Me and too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you. She, she just like me. She just like me for real, for real. <laughs> I walk to my closet as Fox finished up with the difficult task of making the bed. 
I slipped through the clothes and picked out my regular uniform. I looked down at my clothes and back at Box, who's now sitting on the bed, almost ruining his hard work. Uh, hey, could you turn around while I change? I asked awkwardly, holding or you my can uniform. Just leave the room. <laughs> you... He looked up from his phone, bluster. Oh, yeah, of course. He rubs the back of his neck and turns around. I speedily change into my clothes. And then his assistant brings him a suit, and I turn around while he changes. It would have been much easier for us to just go our separate ways at this point, but we didn't. We walked beside each other with our arms linked to the office, where we'd begin some paperwork and brainstorming ideas for some new products and such. I still had so much to catch up on. Four weeks bis missed in a business for like a whole year, so I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. It was quite a big room. It had a couch with a big screen in front of it and a few desks. I sat down at a desk and took some paperwork out of my bag. The nightclub I started building was now finished, and I had a ton of potential buyers, so I had to go look through all the deals and pick one. Uh, hey boss, you wanna come over here and help me pick the best buyer? I asked. There were millions of proposals, and I was starting to panic a bit. He gets up and sits down beside me. I pass him half the stack and we began reading away. I almost felt like a bit of stress I was a bit of the stress I was feeling was lifted off my shoulders as Vox tapped the stack. I was incredibly grateful for everything he's done for me. I set up a notepad to take some of the notes on the buyers and I read through a few. Melampino. <laughs> he's just really horny. Potentially a sex club. What a creep. Like really super duper horny. Asmodeus. Strip club. Again, really horny, but hey, he's big on consent, so I'm here for it. Me too, bitch. I guess these kind of offers make sense. What else are you going to use a nightclub for? I pick up on the next offer and go to grab a pencil. As I go to grab the pencil, Vox reaches at the same exact time. He puts his hand on top of mine and I turn beet red. I just look straight ahead. I want to interlock my fingers with his, but I refrain secretly hoping he would move his hand. I feel his gaze, so I whip my head to the side and look at him in the eyes. He sighs, taking his hand off of mine. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Without thinking, I grab his tie and pull him close. Kissy, whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> huh? I'm loving this. I feel him tense up. Okay. But he quickly gives in, brushing the hair out of my face and kissing me back. We pull apart gasping for air. Are, are you? <laughs> no, I got distracted. I can't. Uh, shit. I'm such a fucking dumbass. <laughs> everything was going great between us, and I might have just fucked everything up. Last time we made out, my life was threatened. Damn, are you, she got a point at least. <laughs> yeah. I see him and begin to leave. This was a mistake. I'm sorry, Vox. I, I try to leave, but he grabs my arm and pulls me into his lap, kissing me passionately. I sat startled on top of him with my arms around his neck. This was heaven, and all I ever wanted, just Vox and, and I, making out deja vu. We That's the name of the story! <laughs> <laughs> we break the kiss and, begin to, and he begins to loosen his tie, and I do the same with mine, throwing it onto the floor beside us. I unbutton my shirt and he does the same. I fumble with the buttons of my blouse. Wait a minute, are they about to fuck right now? <laughs> His shirt on the floor. <laughs> they. Oh. Um. I can't read this. Oh wait. <laughs> okay. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you. Don't thank you. worry. Let me I'm just get the mic. I'm gonna flip my headphones <laughs> off right quick. <laughs> How would you know to put them back on? <laughs> huh? How would you know to put them back on when I'm done? I'll know. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn out the lights. God can't see what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the box plushie away. <laughs> you didn't turn it away. <laughs> just, you know, um, I, well, I, I never mind. I can't say that. I'm gonna just turn my SOG three plushie away too, just out of embarrassment. I think I'm gonna just reread the last one to get myself into the flow with this, because I don't think I can just start off with. 
We break the kiss and he begins to loosen his tie. I do the same with mine, throwing it on the floor besides us. I unbutton my shirt and he does the same. I fondle with the buttons of my blouse. His shirt was on the floor. Fuck, when he groans, impatiently ripping my shirt off, leaving me with my lace red bra, tight black skirt, and tight. <laughs> I gasp at the sudden movement before kissing him again. He grabs <laughs> He grabs my tits and continues to mix out with me. I feel like I'm going everywhere. I feel like I'm getting everything I'm craving at this moment. The feeling of his lips smacking against mine is thrilling. You're so hot, he says, in which we kiss us. He reaches <laughs> He reaches up to unclip my bra until <laughs> Alright, there you go. You did it. <laughs> you got through it. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate I, that. I, I got an Academy McQuinn, Award. Are you... <laughs> oh, yeah. Miss Gwen, are you... Umber says, opening the door and stopping dead in her trap. Oh, sh... Vox and I are just staring at Ember as she stares at us. Fuck. This is so bad. I've never been caught in the act before. Oh my god. I, um... I'll just... Ember says, I'm absolutely dumbfounded. Sure, they know about Vox and I, but she's never seen us so... intimate. <laughs> she sends the door shut, and I hear her cl heels clicking away at the title as she runs away. Want to go back to my room? Vox oh, yes, please. Take your shirt off the <laughs> I'm gonna, literally gonna report you! <laughs> uh. You can't stop me, Jolene! No one can! <laughs> um... Taking his shirt off the floor and putting it back on, I nod and grab and he grabs my hand and teleports us back to his room. The sun has set and I lay breathlessly in Ross's arms. He had my arms wrapped. We don't get to read it. This is bullshit. Wrapped <laughs> <laughs> around my waist and his legs intertwined with mine. It was very clingy at night, but I didn't really mind. I lay staring at the ceiling with the same thoughts in my head. I thought about Alistair, how he betrayed me, how I looked up to him so much, and in a second, all of my respect for him was lost. The foggy memories of the night at the fashion show occupied my mind at night, but being in Vox's arms made me feel safe. I wanted to talk to him about what we were, what we are, because I felt that we were much more than bi just business partners, but just asking that question could ruin everything. I nuzzled into him inside before closing my eyes and drifting into slumber. Beautiful. All right. All right. The final thing we get to read before the like, I have to wait. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Putting my box plus you down. You know, focus. All right. What is this chapter called again? Uh, good morning. All right. Cool. And a, and a good morning to you too. <clears throat> I. I awake in the large, soft bed of Fox's room, but this time, I wasn't nervous that he was going to kick me out. I was just happy to be there with him. It was a peaceful morning, peaceful morning in hell, surprisingly. <laughs> Some days, I could, I would wake up to the sounds of Valentino screaming about something, glass breaking, door slamming, the usual, but this morning was quiet, and I loved it. I soaked in the moment, me lying in the, in the big white comforter, surrounded by pillows, and breathing in the crisp morning air. Oh, wait, I guess the Chris morning smell of burning and shit. <laughs> I know, it may be hell, but damn it, this feels like heaven. A big cheesy smile trace takes over my face as I flip over to face box. I thought about planting a kiss on his forehead. His screen, guys, I know he's not an actual, like, guy. <laughs> Except he wasn't there? What the fuck? What? Damn it. <laughs> I set up stretching my arms a bit before getting up and trying to find Vox in this huge bedroom. I check my clock beside the bed. I read that the time is 6.30 a.m. He never gets up this early. Work didn't start until 8. Did Alistair get him? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not letting that radio bitch touch Vox. I jump out of bed, steal my pajamas and call his name. No response. That radio fucker. <laughs> well, I should just be, like, downstairs. Like, I was just cooking eggs. <laughs> I sprint down to the lounge. Oh, <laughs> he was. He was. 
I sprint down to the lounge, and there he was, sitting on the couch, drinking a cup of coffee. Not a care in the world. I felt a little stupid for freaking out, just because he wasn't lying in bed with me. I definitely jumped to conclusions way too fast. I walked to the bed and catch my breath. Fox, you motherfucker. <laughs> I thought you had been kidnapped by Alizer or something, I said, out of breath, taking a seat next to him. He laughed, which embarrassed me a little bit. But it was kind of silly of thinking that he had been kidnapped. Fox is strong, he can handle himself, but I care about him so much. Can't lose him. Yeah, we, we can't lose him now. We, we just had, like, intimacy yesterday, last night. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why would you think that? He chuckled, setting down his coffee on the coaster. Yeah, this is a sophisticated man. He uses coasters like a rich person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I watch as the heat rise off the cup and swirl into the air before disappearing into nothing. How does he drink it when it's so hot? I mean, just sense it. Just, I mean, he's not a human. I didn't answer Vox's question and just confused to watch a TV in front of us in silence. The news played and, and talked about the exterminations. I didn't really think. I didn't really care though. I just knew I was safe here in the tower. For a second there, I didn't realize that like um, <laughs> when they were like watching the TV in front of them. I thought she was just looking at the TV, that because like, his head's a TV, I thought she was just watching TV. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I got small brain. <laughs> mm. What did I care about was how Vox felt about me. Sure, we made out and cuddled and slept in the same bed together. I think you guys did more than just sleep in the same bed together, but that's just me thinking, you know? <laughs> Who knows if Vox would want something with me? I know that I- I know what I want is to be something more than just business partners. More than just friends. <laughs> more than a crush, more than a hot- uh, But how could I- But how do I know what you are? <laughs> what if he just wants to be friends? But do friends kiss each other as passionately as we- I mean, just look at him and Valentino, man. That's, that's a definition of just- That- That is the yes, you know? I had a stroke mm -hmm. just now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? I, I don't. I don't know what I was. I think my brain short circuited. <laughs> if I told him how I felt about it, it, could ruin every. Oh wait, yeah. If I told him I would ruin everything, and I didn't want to lose Vox or this company that we worked so hard to maintain, bro. What do you mean so hard to maintain, man? You had your first day, of, like your first official day, a week ago, and then you got into a coma, and you had to be out for like like four to five weeks. <laughs> Dang, couldn't be me. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't be me. Being in a coma is such beta behavior. <laughs> and I'm no beta, that's why I'm a sigma. <laughs> but this love, but is love worth the risk? Is the chance to be with Vox worth all the chaos that is ensue if he rejects me? There's only one way to find out. Hey Vox. Hmm? He picks up his coffee and takes a sip before setting it down again. I take a breath, <sighs> trying to muster up the courage to ask the question. I know it's like six in the morning, but I could really use a drink. Mm -hmm. Me too, bitch. I... What are we? What do you mean? He turns off the TV, giving me his full attention, which gives, makes me more nervous. Oh god. <laughs> well, I mean like, we kiss and we cuddle and sleep in the same bed and I just, uh, I don't know. It's hard to find the words to describe how I feel. But even harder to speak them. I placed my hands on my forehead, rubbing it slightly, hoping that this awkward moment would I created passes. Fox sighs, taking a moment to collect himself before speaking. I like you a lot, Gwen. I really do. Ever since that night in the bar, I've been in love with you. And things got tougher with Alistair, and I thought I would lose you, which made me realize how much I loved you. Oh, oh, that was Oh <laughs> Smash! <laughs> I feel a pit in my stomach, and suddenly go away. He felt... He felt the same? I never thought, in all my time spent in hell, that it would form a connection like this with someone down here, but here we are! <laughs> I really like you too, Vox, and I really want to be with you. I watch as this really sweet, small smile creaks upon Vox's face. He looked happy, which made the butterflies in my stomach fall around. He grabs my face, gently pulling it pulling me into a kiss. It tasted like coffee and mint, which I wasn't sure was possible until- yeah, he just like ate some gum. <laughs> Actually, he put some gum in his coffee and was drinking it. That's why the minty flavor is there. 
I felt like in this moment, all my dreams could come true. Box was holding me, kissing me, and he felt the same way as me. This can't be real. Yeah. He, he pulls away, leaving me wanting more. And I, I stood in awe now, not in not so awkward silence. Gwen, would you be my girlfriend? And we say yes. We say yes right away. We say, <laughs> we, we, we say yes. <laughs> I guess. We, we say yes. We say yes. I don't. I don't know why. You know what? You take the wheel. That's up to you. You know. Yeah. I know what they say. Jesus take the wheel. And like my my server said, I'm God apparently. So I say we're going right to yes. <laughs> You're God. Wait. Yeah. This didn't you? This is the Phoenix lore. I I am I am an Wait, entity. Wait. You're God. Leslie. <laughs> Where? I can't remember what they Oh! In the sipping channel, they said, like, I'm the like, yeah, Phoenix is oh, my god. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember, because they were, like, showing us their Pinterest thing of, like, these are all- this is my Pinterest board of Valentino, and here's the number. I'm like, ah, oh, double it. <laughs> He's like, alright, yes, my omnipotent god, you gotta respect the deity. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what the god says. <laughs> oh, god, I'm so ready to read more when it comes out. Are you ready, Julie? I, I guess so. I mean, we gotta know how it ends. Yeah, I need to know if we whoop Alistair's ass. I, I need to know. I need to know how that dinner party's gonna go. I need to know if we say, we better say yes. If we don't, I'm gonna cry, and I will take Vox on a nice romantic date with myself. Yeah. Yeah. You do that, my friend. What what is the uh, trying to remember? It was a thing back in the like maybe like two or three years ago. Like shifting, I I will shift myself into Hasbin Hotel and take Vox on a date if if, if so help oh. me God. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I didn't know you were getting that serious. I, I if if, it, if we say no, I will do it <laughs> myself. I'll pull a Thanos. It's just like fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm feeling good about that. You know what that means? It's time to spin the wheel? Yeah. Alright, spin the wheel. <laughs> With my mind. You can't do- My mind do says, it. press control, enter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me just get rid of the Vox X reader, because uh, we don't have enough chapters right now. Alright. What, what are you hoping? Oh, you said- uh, uh, Okay. Corson, I need it! Be, be honest with me. You want me to add more on there? Of like more? No. Okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm cool for fair game. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna spin the wheel now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, I was spinning the wheel with my mind. I just saw this book updated yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Didn't it? Doesn't have like eight updates or something? Oh shoot! Now I have to wait. When did we leave off on this? <laughs> Uh, wait, no, 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 I got it, I got it. We are on chapter five? Five? Th just... Five or six? Damn. How many chapters are on now? These are, oh yeah, because these are really long. Oh yeah, that's, there's, yeah, there's they're... nine. Yeah, we have enough. Alright, cool. <laughs> that, that, we just need to know that. If we don't have enough, then we gotta respin. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Alright. Good old Zoro, man. How can you say no to that green-haired man with the with the muscle? He doesn't I have muscle. I even see that green guy. <laughs> that green, There's a lot of green guys. Is it that green goblin? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I, no, I'm ready. I'm ready for it, Jolene. Where's your, oh, we're getting uh, banger yeah. after banger after banger. Read. We did a wild one. We just read Vox, and now we're reading Zoro. It all comes full circle. Yeah. Can't wait! I'm so excited, man. I just realized this is, this is a shorter Wattpad book club reading, but it's just because we didn't have enough content. I'm sorry, but at least you guys get like 40 minutes of entertainment. I guess that's that counts for something. I guess. Okay. <laughs> and whatever, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that that was I guess pretty much it. <laughs> that's Woo! the outro. <laughs> All right, th thank you, Jolene, for joining me. I highly appreciate it. Thank you for coming to our weekly our weekly uh, meetup <laughs> to, to read fanfiction. Oh, 
And then, uh, and... I don't know why I was gonna say thank you again, but alright, thank you, Jolene, for <laughs> doing it. Yeah, no problem. You get double thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. On Screw Store is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings, including the last book club reading that I did. I don't know, like on a Thursday. I don't know when this is gonna go up. <laughs> but, uh, Jolene, do you have any final words to, to leave the audience with some wisdom? Um, take care, have a good meal, have a good night's rest, and have a good day, slash night, slash afternoon. Alright, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> Alright, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>